From the WGLT Newsroom, I'm Lindsay Jones. Bloomington School Board has approved a $95 million budget for 2025. The budget comes with a $3 million deficit. Finance Director Michael Cornall says that compared to last year's budget, funding sources for the district have changed slightly for 2025. What we have seen this year is a significant increase in local source, some tax revenue uh, associated with that, really to kind of fill some of those gaps that were left with the federal funds that rolled off. The district's most expensive expense expenditure is its education fund, coming in around $60 million, most of which is salary and benefits. The new Town of Normal sustainability plan includes the creation of an Office of Sustainability, but City Manager Pam Reese says it's a bit early to say how big that office will be. At this point, I can't even tell you that it would be a separate office or even a new position. Maybe in the initial duties are incorporated into current staff responsibilities. Reese says the town will go through the plan and incorporate parts of it in the next and ongoing budget cycles. Cybersecurity researchers found vulnerabilities earlier this year in voter registration databases holding millions of documents with personal information of residents in over a dozen Illinois counties. Capital News Illinois reports the documents allegedly contained social security numbers, dates of birth, addresses, and other personally identifiable information. The databases were set up by Batavia-based Platinum Technology Resource, a technology vendor with contracts around the state. Platinum told the affected counties in August it had addressed the security concerns. And owners of Duncan Manor are hosting a weekend fundraiser to help turn the historic home into a community event space. Dave Howell lives in the farmhouse in rural Tawanda with his wife Randy and their two kids. Howell says they've also started a nonprofit they hope can help others in historic preservation. So our goal too down the road is hopefully to be able to generate more income and possibly help other people out that were, you know, maybe in the shoes that we were in when we started out. The Howells are marking 10 years since they bought the house and started to refurbish it. They'll have three days of food and live music starting Friday night. I'm